Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga. Quit screwing around and start. I my since we last wore these uniforms. Oh, look, it's Kona-chan. Kona-chan, good morning. Well, well, Kagami-san, Tsukasa-san. How do you do, get on? Uh, my, Tsukasa-san, it seems that your ribbon has been tied uh, crooked. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Gross. What's wrong, Kona-chan? You seem different. Oh, yes. As of late, I found myself completely obsessed with Marimite. <laughs> Grow up already! <laughs> so now what? You're not gonna start dressing like a character from that show. Let's see, isn't that cosplay? Don't worry, I'm not gonna take it that far. You sure about that? Yeah, besides, I already do a ton of cosplay at work. Oh, that's right. She works at a place like that, doesn't she? Wonder what she'd be like as a classy lady. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so long, I can't even picture it. The baseball broadcasts are running longer and longer. Why do the fans of new anime have to be the ones getting hosed all the time? If watching anime is that important to you, why don't you get cable or something? Don't they have channels for that kind of stuff? Huh. You know, if I could get it, I totally would. But the cable guys all say the same thing. We don't provide that service here. <sighs> Hi, Yuki-chan. Good morning. Hello, Tsukasa-san. Good morning. Why are you so gloomy? Did something happen? I had to have a cavity taken care of the other day. Oh, so you went to the dentist? That's pretty brave. Why is it that when you go to the dentist to get some work done, you find yourself returning there again and again? Oh, you're so right. I totally know how you feel. It's never just one or two trips. It's way more. Miyuki-san, how do you do? Oh, Konata-san, how do you do? I trust you're having a good day. Yes, thank you for asking. Wow, it's good to see you Yuki-chan's amazing. Well, it doesn't sound weird when she talks proper like that. She doesn't even notice that Konata is talking that way. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone greet someone else with a how do you do. Oh, is that so? At the all-girl high school that my other friends attend, it's common for them to greet each other with a how do you do. Schools for well-to-do girls are something else indeed. So very elegant. Hey, so uh, Teach told me to collect your homework from summer vacation? Very well then, Sebastian. Seb who? I would assume all butlers are named Sebastian, no? I guess that's one way of looking at it. Say something amusing, no Sebastian. No way. Well, your vacation's over, people, but now's not the time to be spacing out. Y'all should be thinking about the future while you're diving headfirst into your studies. The future, huh? What am I gonna do? I mean, now that I'm halfway finished with high school... Oh, come on, Kagami. Don't tell me you're seriously thinking about your future. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Well, for one thing, you did choose the uh, liberal arts route, uh, so you could be in the same uh, class as us. Tsukasa, you tattletale! <laughs> <laughs> and of all the people, <laughs> you... you... you tell her? Uh, you can tell us. Be honest. You're uh, a lonesome little girl, uh, aren't you? Uh, there, there. It's okay. Shut up, you! 
Just make you do it all over again. I think you know what I mean. Curses. You don't get an extension on summer vacation, but you get one on the homework. I better borrow Kagami's notes. Listening to the cicadas always puts me to sleep. Oh. Huh? What the? Huh? Uh-huh. The baseball game went late, so the schedule's off. Huh. Guess something good can come of it after all. Wait! My recorder's timer's off! Huh? Where are your glasses, Yuki-chan? Well, you see, they broke this morning. I had placed them on my chair and forgot about them. It was an accident. I'm terribly sorry. May I borrow today's notes from the two of you? <laughs> of course. You're still as clumsy as ever. Keep it up. Mm. Kanata-san, your handwriting is so mysterious. Oh. Tsukasa-san, keep trying. I swear, it's like those two are totally useless. Here. Thank you so much. It's a good thing we have the same teacher or you'd be stuck. Um, and could you please keep this mm -hmm. a secret? It was such a nice gesture and I'd hate to pour cold water on it. <sighs> I'm starving! Are you ready to have lunch with us, Yuki-chan? <laughs> Tsukasa-san, Kunata-san, here are your notes. Thank you so much for them. Not at all. No need to thank us. We're happy to help. I never thought I'd be lending you my notes, Yuki-chan. I was so surprised. Doubt it'll happen again, though. <laughs> Scare. Uh, what is it? Do I have something on my face? Mm -hmm. In games, when characters with glasses come to school without glasses, they suddenly become popular. But I guess that doesn't happen in real life. Uh, no, I guess not, unfortunately. Anyone else think Choco Cornets look like drills? <laughs> drills? That's right! I just remembered we were talking about which end of a Choco Cornet's the head, and how the thin end kind of looks like a butt. Hmm. Although, if you look again, the thicker end looks more like the butt. A butt? Whoa, that's a big butt. And a layer of belly. When you gain weight on the lower half of your body, trying to find a skirt that fits you is really difficult. Yeah, right. When it fits your waist, it doesn't fit your hips. And when the skirt fits your hips just right, the waist is all loose. But you can't help it, so you buy the one with a loose waist. And then when you're out walking, mm. the skirt starts spinning around until it's backward. I know. A layered belly on a coronet body. Flip it to the side and it's a sleeping body. If you sleep too much, you'll get a... Cornet body. Let me know when I'm supposed to laugh, okay? Hey, sis, didn't you go on some kind of diet to get rid of your summer pudginess? Yeah, I did. But even though I lost some weight, I didn't lose anything on my waist or hips. No, Kagami. It did work. I can totally see the fruits of your diet. <gasps> really? Yep, the difference is crystal clear. Mm. They say that when you go on a diet, the places where you don't want to lose weight are always the first ones to go bye-bye. Cut it out! Don't even go there! So when you read literature, the idea is to always be thinking about the message that the author is trying to communicate. See, For example, I see, I see. page 72. I heard that if your eyesight's bad, you look like you're glaring and it freaks people out. But then again, it depends on the person. Uh, hold it right there! You looked at me when you said it depends on the person, didn't you? I heard that when you make your eyes all narrow, it makes you look pretty. You get this wistful, faraway look, or something like that. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Konata's late. She should be here by now. Where the heck is she? Oh, there! 
here! I'm here, I'm here! Sorry I'm late. Oh, you think? You know, for someone who's always complaining about ball games <laughs> running late, I think you'd be more punctual. Yeah, well, you know, lately all the games have been going over, so I guess maybe I caught the bug too. What, like the flu? Well, what's the story? Why are you late? Slept in? No, no, it's not that. I'm not a child. Then I can't wait to hear the grown-up reason you're late. Well, okay. When I got ready to leave the house to come here, I noticed that it was still early and I had some time to kill. I figured, yeah, so I started playing this game and then I just couldn't stop. Even for a child, that's a crappy excuse. Now that we're in our second trimester, we've got the Arts Festival and Sports Festival coming up. And exams right after. You'll do great at the Sports Festival, Konachan, because you're so athletic. Sports festivals make me tired. Yeah, well, it's rare to find a homebody like you who's in such good physical shape. I wonder what our class is gonna do for the arts festival. I don't think there's anything anyone wants to do. We can't really decide on anything to do unless somebody steps up and says they want to do something. But the person who does always gets stuck putting everything together, so nobody says anything. And then the only time we have to do anything's after school. And then we get home late and miss all the anime. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> Lucky Since Dad's put me in charge of cooking the dinner tonight, I gotta go grocery shopping. Yeah? So what are you gonna make? Everyone's favorite, chicken curry. Everybody in my family just loves mm. chicken. Chicken curry, huh? That sounds good. You know, I heard once that if you let curry sit out overnight, it gets yummier. I heard that too. I know what I'll do. I'll make a little extra and then I can have it for lunch tomorrow. We always have leftovers. Hey, Ducky residents. Oh, uh, Tsukasa? Kona-chan? It's so early. Anything wrong? Yeah, it's the curry. Curry? The curry I made yesterday. I left it out overnight and it spoiled. What? No way. Way. But why? Curry doesn't usually go bad overnight. I know. Did you put something weird in it? No, but this morning, there was mold all over it. So, cornets for lunch again? I don't mind, this drink's tasty. Well, as long as you're okay with it. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. You know, I just realized something about the kind of lunches you guys bring to school. Some days you bring proper lunches, and other days you bring simple lunches. Why is there such a huge difference? <laughs> oh, well, that's because Tsukasa and I always take turns making the lunches. Hmm? Stuff like lunches always end up being kind of simple, because I'm not that good at doing housework. There, huh? I'm simple. Happy now? <gasps> yes, Kagami, you're the type of person who makes pots and pans explode whenever you cook. Relax, nobody can do that. Wow, Yuki-chan, your lunch looks super tasty today. Really? Oh, I just packed some of last night's leftovers. Oh. Dinner at Miyuki-san's house. Is really fancy. And these are just the leftovers. Hey, um, everything looks so good. What's the filling inside the fried eggs? Oh, oh. well, we had eel last night, so I just put that into the eggs. Oh. You never see leftover eel. Moldy curry's the only leftover at my house. Well, your house isn't really normal, is it? Good morning. Hi. Hey, you. Look, look! My parents bought me a cell phone. Oh, that's pretty cool of them. Yeah, I did really good on my exams this time, so they got it for me. Well, now that you finally got one, give me your number and I'll give you mine. Sure, I just gotta go find my number. Let's see. Take a second. I didn't know you had a cell phone, Konata. Mm, except I keep it at home because I always forget to bring it. Besides, my dad's the only one who ever calls me. Then it's pointless for you to even have a cell phone. Oh, yeah? Kerodo! Whoa! Isn't he cute? Mom and Dad bought him for me with a cell phone. That reminds me, there's this girl in my class who's got a ton of straps hanging from her phone. She decided to weigh it to see how heavy it was, and the straps alone were like 800 grams. Oh, wow, that's a lot. That's heavy. When she took the straps off, her shoulders didn't hurt anymore. Think about it, every time she made a call or answered the phone, she was working out. 
It's weird, but cell phones always make me nervous. You never really know when they're gonna ring. Really? Oh, I hope somebody calls me up on my new cell phone. You're losing it over a cell phone. These days, they're not that big a deal. <laughs> By the way, did you ever find your number? Uh, oh, not yet. And in England, the House of Lancaster and the House of York began a series of civil wars for the throne. On the battlefield, the armies of Lancaster wore red roses and the armies of York wore white. That's why it's called the War of the Roses. The fighting started in 1455 and went all the way to 1485, and that's when... Uh, oh, uh, what is that? Is that my cell phone? Oh, oh, I finally got a call. Uh, oh, uh, <sighs> Who's this? Okay, confiscated. <laughs> you can pick it up in my office after school. Yay! She gave it back to me. It sucks that your first call was a spam text. Mm. Hi. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, I'm still at school. Just hanging out with Konata and Miyuki and lost track of time. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be heading home in a little bit. See ya. That always happens, even if I'm a little late. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, hiya, Dad. Yeah, I'm still at school with Konachan and the others. Yeah. Do you think he'd figure it out after calling one of us? Fathers always worry about their daughters. It's what they do best. Can you believe how much spam you get these days? You just need to change your address to something that's not too obvious. I change mine, and it's all good. Not too obvious, huh? Give me an example. Well, I got my address written out to say Mega Neko Geki Love and Romaji. What I really wanted was something with maid in it, but addresses with maid son and Miko son are so popular they've all been wait, snapped. Wait, wait, wait! You don't have to broadcast it to everyone on the bus. I got it, I got it already! <laughs> the stuff you're talking about is worse than the spam problem! Good morning. Hey, you. Oh. Why are you crying? What's wrong? My poor little cell phone! It never hurt anyone! She sort of forgot to take it out of her pocket. <laughs> then it's gone on to a much better place. <laughs> They'll never buy me another cell phone again! <laughs> he made it through unscathed. Persistent little guy. Oh. Hey, about that text you sent me last night. You know, the one that said something about how Kagami wanted me to return her homework notes today. Was that the last message you sent? Yeah, that was the last. Did you reply to it? Oh. Let's how come it's see. so hard for you to return a simple text message? I never reply to a text when it's from someone I'll be talking to later on. You're supposed to reply to those things. But I see you every day, so what's the point in going to all that trouble? You're gonna lose a lot of friends that way. Uh, it's not like it's so important, uh, uh, I can't wait. How can you say that? Uh, after all the back and forth, I still didn't get my notes back. Tsukasa, can I come in? Hey, sis. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you crying? This manga that I borrowed from Konachan made me weepy. Good morning. Thanks for letting me borrow the manga. It was really cool. Yeah, wasn't that silly? Bet it made you laugh. Huh? But it was so touching that it made me cry. It's hard to believe you guys are talking about the same manga. Here, if you cry, you're on Tsukasa's side. But if you laugh, you're on my side. No way. I don't oh. want to be classified with either one of you. I think it'd be kind of neat to see how you react to it. Oh, is it really such a bad thing to want to know what your friends are all about? <sighs> okay, here's an idea. Attack number one. Did you cry or did you laugh? Oh, I, I laughed. cried. Okay, what's your favorite manga? Kerodo Gunso. Uh, I can't really tell if these guys are the same or not anymore. Why don't you join the manga club or something, Konachan? I mean, you like manga. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind joining up with those guys. I'm pretty sure they've at least got flexible hours. Draw, 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 draw. <gasps> what the? You call this drawing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a question. This thing here, who's it a picture of? That's Sukasa. Really? That's me? And that's Miyuki-san. I guess you sort of got the feel for her. This is Kagami. Oh, I breathe fire, huh? My! It's the spitting image of you, isn't it? What a scary little girl! How frightening! Would you cut it out already? Oh, the 
The new Full Metal book just came out. Yeah, the new issue of Comp T came out today, too. I'm gonna swing by Gamers now. Do you guys wanna go? Oh, sorry. I think I'll just go by the local bookstore today. I got errands to run. But you have to go uh, with me to Gamers today, because it'll nurture the friendship between us. Stop it. What's up with you today? You use a word like friendship, and it doesn't fit you at all. Oh, yeah, that. I was just trying to get you to give me all your purchase points by appealing to your sense of loyalty. You so that's all my friendship means to you? Longer. What a crock. Lucky Star. Man, it's quiet. Is she mad I used the sunflowers for the pigtail gag? I wonder. Huh? What? Who, me? Huh? Uh, you want me? Akira-sama. Me. Oh, okay, got it. Hey, um... I think we're on the air right now, so, uh... If I don't do something now, they're gonna change... Uh, uh... You know, however she says that line. Okay, guys, Lucky Channel's on the air again this week, and I'm Minoru Shiraishi, the assistant. Akira-sama's in a bad mood. How dare you introduce yourself before introducing me, Akira Kogami. Do you not understand what rank is? No, I was... I've noticed you've been getting quite popular around here lately. You and those pigtails. Me? Popular? No, not You're at so all. You're so full of yourself that makes me sick! I'm terribly sorry! First off, everybody was expecting the Akira Fashion Project to showcase me. Yes, me and my pigtails. What are those? You're right! You're absolutely right! <laughs> I'm gonna wear twin drills! You're kidding! Twin drills? Don't yeah. underestimate the speed of the getter. <laughs> Number two, huh? Pigtails are over. The next big thing is going to be twin drills. Didn't Konata say in episode two that a drill is kind of like a guy's, you know? Did she now? Alrighty, everyone! We're gonna straighten this out on our radio show and on our website! So, until the next episode... Bye, me! So, uh... Yes. The pigtails? Oh, the ones I had. Mmm, the ones in the picture. Yes. Were those sunflowers? They were? I think I've seen those somewhere before. What do you mean? Years ago... Whoa, hang on a sec! One of my get first... Get-o, get-o! Get-o, get-o! Boy, was I nervous! It was very cute and very well done! Don't you get nervous on the first song you sing? You think, am I gonna sing this song good enough, you know? Your turn, Miyuki! I'd like her to sing O Moe Dega E Pie. Why that one? Uh, would you please hand me the mic? Here, good luck. Um, I don't do this very often, so I'd like to apologize ahead of time if my singing hurts your ears. Don't worry, you'll do great. Oh, good one. I totally get the connection here. Nice, Miyuki. Oh, her voice is awesome. This is a new kind of moe, and it's working. Yuki-chan, you're so cool! On the next episode of Lucky Star, Tsukasa here. Wait, time's up? Next time, energetic despite not being myself. Look forward to it!